time. Add your ADT to your RNT to get your TNT. On Table 1, find your letter group using your deepest depth and the time corresponding to your TNT. Record the letter group. This completes the dive profile for your first dive. The length of your surface interval time will determine what your new letter group will be for planning your next dive. Record your SIT. Find your letter group. Look down the column to find your SIT. Find your new letter group. Record your new letter group. To plan a repetitive dive, you use the NAWI planning worksheet as you did for your first dive. However, you must use Table 3 to find your AMDT when planning your dive. Don't forget to add 3 meters to your depth and record that AMDT. Now it's time to dive your plan. Recording your repetitive dive is similar to recording your first dive. However, this time you have residual nitrogen in your body, and you must consider that before you find your new letter group. Find your RNT for your depth and letter group on Table 3 and record it. Add your ADT to your RNT to get your TNT. Go back to Table 1 to find your new letter group and record it. Intentionally exceeding the maximum dive time is unwise, unsafe, and discouraged. As you will learn in advanced or specialty training for deep diving, you must meet many requirements to carry out decompression dives properly. In normal recreational diving, decompression dives are still discouraged, even if you meet all the requirements. Diving is only a sport. Why risk injury? If you accidentally exceed a maximum dive time or adjusted maximum dive time, you must decompress by stages. You must keep your physical activity to a minimum during your decompression stop. If you surface and discover you omitted a required decompression stop, discontinue diving for 24 hours no matter how you feel. Breathe 100% oxygen if available. Drink plenty of fluids. Rest and watch for symptoms of DCS. If you suspect that you have DCS, you must seek medical help. Never go back into the water to try to make up for the omitted stop. If you only do one no decompression dive, you can fly after waiting 12 hours. If you do more than one no decompression dive in a day, or do multiple days of diving, you should wait longer. The current recommendation is to wait 24 hours after the completion of your last dive. If you make dives that require a decompression stop, or you omit a required decompression stop, wait more than 24 hours before flying. Atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude. To account for this difference, you need to use altitude conversion tables or the NAWI altitude tables and follow special procedures. Do not attempt high-altitude diving without first completing a high-altitude training program. The NAWI dive tables are the basis for the NAWI dive time calculator, which eliminates some calculations required with the tables. Once you are familiar with the NAWI dive tables, Learning how to use the NAWI Dive Time Calculator is easy. NAWI Dive Tables 1 and 3 are combined on the base plate. Letter group designations appear around the circumference, and ADTs in minutes appear in the window. End of dive letter groups appear to the right of the ADT numbers in the disk window. The calculator design eliminates the AMDT. It also eliminates adding the ADT to the RNT to obtain a TNT. However, the answers are the same as those obtained from the dive schedules using the NAWI dive table. For example, a no-group diver who plans a dive to 18 meters would have an MDT of 55 minutes. To find your letter group at the completion of your dive, let's use the same example of an 18-meter dive with an ADT of 23 minutes. The first time you do not exceed is 25 minutes. The end of dive letter group next to the 25 is E. To plan a repetitive dive, use Dive Table 2 on the disk to find your new letter group after your SIT. You were an E, and after a one-hour SIT, you are now a D. If you want to return to 18 meters, your time limit is now 31 minutes. To find your end of letter group for a repetitive dive using an 18 meter dive and the letter group D and your ADT is 23 minutes, the first time you do not exceed is 26 minutes.
the end of dive letter group next to the 26 is H. Dive planning with the NAWI dive time calculator is simple. For example, you are a diver with a letter group of F and you want to dive for 25 minutes. You move the window back and forth and find that you can dive to 18 meters for 19 minutes or to 15 meters for 33 minutes. To avoid exceeding the maximum dive time, you know you can dive no deeper than 15 meters and stay no longer than 33 minutes. In some instances, the words do not dive appear in the calculator window. This means that you have too much residual nitrogen to permit a dive at the depth selected for a particular letter group. You will have to extend your surface interval to dive at that depth or dive at a shallower depth. When using the NAWI dive time calculator, required decompression information is provided by a separate decompression timetable. The easiest way to determine how long you can dive and then ascend within the time limits is a dive computer. This is also the most expensive. Dive computers use theoretical and mathematical models to determine the time limits for the current depth and displays it for the diver. The big advantage with a dive computer is that it constantly recalculates as your depth changes during your dive. A dive computer does not count all of your dive time as having occurred at your deepest depth as the dive tables do. A dive computer is an electronic device that can fail without warning. If a dive computer fails, your only option is to surface at the rate of ascent specified by the manufacturer and make a 3 to 5 minute precautionary decompression stop at 5 meters or 15 feet. Then you must stop diving for the period recommended by the manufacturer. You can't start with a fresh computer or use dive tables because you have an unknown amount of residual nitrogen in your system. When a dive computer is turned on, it must initialize itself. This is a process where the operating program is checked and loaded into the computer's memory. When this happens, the computer typically runs through a self-diagnostic test and checks all its functions. Some computers must be turned on with a switch before you enter the water. Other computers turn on automatically when you enter the water. If you must turn your computer on with a switch, do not turn it on at depth or after you started your descent because your dive will not be recorded accurately. All computers can scroll before diving and between dives. Between dives, the computer accounts for your residual nitrogen and the time you've been on the surface. It shows your allowable maximum dive time for your next dive for each depth programmed in the computer. When a computer is in a dive mode, it will display data such as your current depth, maximum depth, water temperature, actual dive time, and the time you have left at your current depth. As you approach decompression status, computers give you a visual warning message. When this occurs, you must begin your ascent immediately, but at the proper rate. When your dive computer displays a ceiling, it means that you have an obligation to decompress. The ceiling depth is the depth of your first decompression stop. You must not ascend above the depth of that ceiling. If you require more than one stop, your computer will display another ceiling. An air integrated computer will show you the amount of air left in your cylinder as well as the amount of air time you have left. All dive computers will give you a warning signal when you exceed the ascent rate. Anytime you violate your computer's ascent rate, you increase your risk of DCS. Always monitor your computer carefully during ascent. If you ever see an out of range message, you've exceeded your computer's maximum depth range. Begin your ascent immediately and follow your computer's instructions to complete your decompression and ascent. During your surface interval, your computer will give you credit for off-gassing. You'll also be able to see the maximum time allowed at any depth increasing as you stay out of the water. A surface interval of at least one hour is still recommended even if you are using a computer. Most computers will tell you when it is safe to fly based on their mathematical model. Even if you use a computer, you still need to log your dives. On most computers, you can call up log mode and see stored dive information. Other important rules when using a dive computer include a buddy cannot share one computer. Each diver must have their own computer. If you have been diving on tables and want to start diving with a computer, you must wait 24 hours after your last dive. 
If your computer must be turned on and off manually, do not turn it off until it indicates that off-gassing is complete, and do not make repetitive dives in one day to depths greater than 30 meters or 100 feet.